everyone. This is Mrs. Starkey again, and this is our final session together. So I hope you've had fun learning about Cameroon and learning about music theory, um, the solfege and the rhythm activities we've done. Today I want to show you a couple things about our song and also get you ready to make your virtual choir video. So on the screen right now you see a map and that is because I wanted you to see where the country of Cameroon is and it's right here in the middle. And if I zoom out, you'll see where it is on the continent of Africa. Now, our, the composer of the piece actually um, is from South Africa down here, but it, she wrote it about Cameroon, which is right here now in the middle where I'm circling with my mouse. So that's what this, where the country is about this song. Now, um, a little more about our song. When we put it all together, um, we'll have multiple parts singing. And one way um, that you've been learning that is with the music, but I wanted to show you on a word sheet today Two, if this is a little easier for you to look at while you do your recording, this is fine. You'll follow along if you're a soprano, all these parts that we sing together, and then you'll always follow under the word soprano. If you've been learning the alto part, then you'll follow where everyone sings together, and then you'll kind of go over here to where it says alto, and then you go back to where everyone sings together, and then over to alto. And you'll see what Mrs. Hughley was talking about in her video where we sing um, in the Zulu first, and then we have our chorus, and then we sing in the English, and then we have our chorus, and then we sing in the Zulu again, have our chorus, and then we have our special ending. Now, I want to show you on the music, too, though, because I know you've been working really hard to look at the music. And hopefully this will be a little simpler to see because I've added some colors for you. So at the beginning, you hear the piano playing, and then you'll hear on the practice track my voice singing the main part, whoa, 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 Cameroon. And you just keep following that all the way through all the text. When we get to the chorus, I highlighted the soprano part in yellow and the alto part in green. So follow along whichever line it is that you've been practicing. And here's the spot I wanted to show you, our very first special mark. So right here where I'm circling with my mouse, you'll see repeat signs and it might pop up and highlighted blue here in just a second. Um, at those repeat signs we have to go back and we have to repeat and we repeat back to the beginning of the song so you have to go all the way back up and this time we sing verse number two and that's the one you know is in English whoa 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 Cameroon my home is in the Cameroons and you keep singing and you keep singing and we sing through the chorus again this time, though, we don't go to the first ending because we already did that. We go to the second ending. You'll see that number two over here. And during the second ending, we are not going to do the claps. It's a little hard to do that um, when we're not all together. So we're just going to listen to the piano play its own little interlude part. And then you see what Mrs. Hughley showed you where it says DS Alcoda. DS is an Italian phrase that means dal segno, which means to the sign. The sign is that funny looking thing right there. And then, so we go to the sign and we sing all the way till we see a mark for the coda. The coda is at the end of the song. It actually means tail in Italian. So that sign, you'll have notice, is all the way again back at the beginning of the song. Here it is in blue. So the third time you see the number three, we'll go and we'll sing our Zulu verse again. And you sing and you sing just like normal. And at the end of the chorus this time, we don't go to the first ending. We don't go to the second ending. Like it said, we go to the coda. So right here in blue, it says to coda. And that's how we know it's time to finally jump down to our section. Hold on, there it is, where it says coda. And Mrs. Hughley taught you your Cameroon and your special ending part there. So I know that's a little confusing, especially if you're on a computer. If you have a printer, it might be easier to print out the music and then you can turn the pages a little faster maybe than um, you can scroll. But when you get here to the end of the song, you'll have your two parts and we'll make some beautiful harmony together. Now it's time to make your virtual choir video. After you have practiced the song a few times all the way through and you're ready to record, here's how you do it. You need two things. One is something to listen to the practice track on with headphones or earbuds, something where it's going to be playing that practice sound with all the piano parts here in your ears 
Um, but then you have to have another device to record you, your video of singing. So what you might do is have your phone um, and headphones plugged in, playing that practice track, and maybe use a laptop with a webcam to video yourself singing. The video that you send us should only be your voice. We should not hear the practice tracks or the piano or anything. That should all be here in your headphones or in your earbuds. Um, and the only thing we want you to record and send to us is yourself singing along. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, let us know and we can explain it differently or help you figure out how to submit your recording. You also have to make sure that your parents have filled out the media waiver release form so that we get to use your video for the virtual choir. It has been so wonderful having you with us for these past few sessions and I hope you've enjoyed our virtual neighborhood choir academy.